Welcome to number 54, an indie horror game. Looked interesting. Looks slightly influenced by animatronics, uh, sort of FNAF kind of stuff, but not not 100%. So, let's see. They're designed to kill you, but you have a job. Reprogram these robots before morning, or else you're fired. Or maybe you'll die instead. It looked interesting. Maybe you could make a waifu joke here and there, but... Yeah, I'll just show it off. Let's get into it. Hello, intern, and welcome to our company. Thank You're you. our first hire out here, and your job is to reprogram the robots before shipping tomorrow. Hmm. If any of our servos stop working or are malfunctioning, you have been equipped with a handy remote taser that'll help you solve all of your problems. Due to some unforeseen issues with voltage regulation, some of the lights are currently out, so we oh. provided you with a flashlight to help you navigate the building. We warmly welcome you, so good luck, and Thank do you. your best. Uh, do your best, or, or, or die trying. Hmm. Oh, mouse sensitivity. Mm. Boom. Boom. More. More! Uh, over I USBs. There are two of them. Blue one and a white one. More! <laughs> it's not enough! Different robot. Mm -hmm. Do the correct one. Uh, so insert the USB, go behind them, and open the large panel on the back. You should know what to do from there. Um, once they've all been programmed, go we'll head to the garage doors. Make sure they can get there. What? We've also provided you with a job directive assistant. Uh, hmm? if you manage to complete the job, you'll get money for food and a safe place in the dome where you and your family can stay. Uh, yeah, that, that's all the information from the company. Um, but I, I do have a little more to tell you, though. The company doesn't tell me much, but I do know the robot. Oh, oh god! Another one! Alright, I can't... There's multiple of them. I think that's the robot I have to reprogram is the, the waifu one, but... Okay, let me listen to the phone call, I guess. I, without the rain interrupting me. Hey, we need you to reprogram the robot. Um, it should be simple enough. Just search around the house for a... Uh, over I USBs. There are two of them. Blue one and the white. They're both different and work with different robots, so make sure you insert them into the correct one. Uh, so insert the USB. Wait. Charge flashlight. Okay. What? I don't have, I guess, the USB for them? I guess? We've also wait while the job directive reboots. Uh, if you manage to complete the job, you'll get money for food and a safe place in the dome where you and your family can stay. Uh, yeah, that, that's all the information from the company. Um, but I, I do have a little more to tell you, though. The company doesn't tell me much, but I do know the robot will. Yep. <laughs> Man, she can open her mouth pretty wide. Okay, I have to figure out, like, I, I... I electrocuted her, and it looked like it would be the time where I would... be able to... reprogram them, but I didn't see how. They said get to the back. Okay. It should be simple enough. Just search around the house for a... over USB. There are two of them. The blue one and the white one. Uh, they're both different and work with different robots, so make sure you insert that. Okay, so I have to get the override robot. shit first. Gotcha. Uh, so insert the USB, go behind them, and open the large panel on their back. You should know what to do from there. Um, once they've all been programmed, go head to the garage doors. Make sure they can get there. We've also provided you with a job directive assistant. Uh, if you manage to complete the job, You'll get money for food and a safe place in the dome where you and your family can stay. Uh, yeah, that, that's all the information from the company. Um, but I, I do have a little more to tell you, though. The company doesn't tell me much, but I do know that the robots will attack you if they see you. This is actually why you're here. We don't know why they do that. Um, um. If you get caught, you can hide in a closet. <laughs> 
Uh, they take a long time to explain themselves while I have to avoid danger and be able to listen to them quietly. Subtitles would be great, I would argue. Um, otherwise, I get the gist of it. I'll just skip call, fuck it. We need to look for the overdrive things. As soon as we stun them, it takes a long time for the stunning thing to recharge. Although it says full charge with a full ring after using it once, it drains. Ah, oh, I'm not. Like. You can see. I don't have it, but you can see, look at the bottom left, and you can see it's now completely draining. Please wait while the we have to get out here. I don't know what the overdrive stuff looks like, so... We could hide in the closet, I guess. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's gonna suck. Having to look for something and I don't know what they look like, but something to shove in them. And they were, what, blue and yellow or something? Cutting board... It could be upstairs, but all these doors, I think, are openable. Oh, oh a glowy? It, I... It's glowing, but... As long... It, is it just that the lamp makes it glow a lot, but it's not special? I can't interact with it. I gotta hope that... I gotta hope once the blue charge is... Once the blue charge is all the way down, I can re... No! Come on! Yep, there we go. Ooh. Okay, it is. Okay. I was a little too close. It fully charged right as I was hoping it would. Now I just had to roam around and... look for... Take... Recording. Start report. Uh... This kid built some real special robots. One of them is all bear, and the other is some sort of woman. I think it's the, the woman from that video game you play it all the time. It's a bit weird, but as long as we got what we need. Problem is recharging the light by holding space as I'm doing it. It has that volume image. I'm going to assume they can hear me when I do this. Okay. It's a bunch of tapes, I guess, for lore purposes, but... Or number two. I opened the back panel one of the robots and found this weird symbiote chip thing in. Although it's not protected by anything, it looks like you could just unplug it. I thought it was supposed to unplug it and replace it with the USB. But when I tried taking it out, the robot spoke for a second. Hmm? It suddenly stopped working. I'm Ow! Not sure what it is. I... Okay, that one breaks down the doors even. I was trying to get away, but then I got stuck. Fuck me. It's really hard to listen to the lore when... <laughs> it's hard to listen and avoid them, but yeah. I, I want to at least get rid of one of them with an override chip. So I'll skip ahead and look for whatever I'm looking for. Deprogram one of them. That's clearly the, the non-woman. <laughs> the non-woman. Is uh, the maybe more dangerous? And something about these robots is you know, slightly off. I know they're new and all, but... Uh, I left the room, I came back, and one of them was on the opposite side. Now, I could have misplaced it. Uh, oh, oh, actually, there's a, oh, something on it. Uh, right, let me fix this. What the fuck? Yeah. No, well, I guess that guy died in that tape. God. Oh, huh. you have found a USB. Open the panel in the back of the robots while they're in maintenance mode to override their programming. Alright, we got one of them. It's just a blue fucking rectangle. I have to find the female one, probably. Fuck! I'll try this one then. No, not two of them! No! Oh. I couldn't hear any of them. They just appeared. I wanted to isolate one of them. Oh. And the item isn't something that glows, it's just a colored square that's like on a table. Easily messable, but... Alright. I know what to look for at the very least. It's just not in the same spots every time. You have found a USB. Ah. Open the panel in the back of the robots while they're in maintenance mode to override their programming. Alright, lucky me. Found the gray one, probably for the bare wire one. Nice have to actually find either the other one... 
the other USB so I can deal with either or that I bump into first or something else. I don't know. I, I just gotta hope not to die. Alright. You. So, d d is it fixed? I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I did it right. I don't know if it can still kill me afterwards, but I'm gonna avoid it anyways. Ah! You have found a USB and a tape. Panel on the back of the robot's holder and maintenance mode for override their programming. They're supposed to fucking go. Goodbye. I gotta go. Alright, that was a quick tape. I just gotta hope I don't run into the the bare bone one. I already fixed it, but I don't know. Hmm. There's only two robots that I'm aware of, so I just gotta find... There's a lot of tapes for more lore, but I'm not gonna probably find all the tapes. We just gotta find the lady robot. And, uh... I don't know, I, I, I'm, it's only 2 a.m. I think it's like you lose if you don't reprogram them in time. Like, maybe 6 a.m. But... Huh? I just that do I leave? Do, do I leave? Wait, where's the fucking stairs back down? There you are. I'm gonna hide in a closet in the meantime, uh, if I can find one. Or just like leave. What's making me stuck? I have to read all the tapes before I can leave. Oh. Recording. Start report. Uh, this kid built some real special robots. One of them is all bare. Okay, so he's lined up here. I guess he's safe to go. I think it's the well, something on it. Um, let me fix this. The job is now complete. What the fuck? The house and receive payment at the designated company facility. All right, it's saying I'm done. Okay. I can receive payment. Could be death. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the front door. I'm not sure if it's over here. Yeah, but they're both lined up and ready to go, I guess. I'll go explore the house then, if they're actually reprogrammed. I'm gonna assume the exit is the door where I came from. That's the locked door. Over here. But, I'll explore the house to get more of the tapes. Uh, that probably still exist to get more story. It's just, apparently it's just mostly, you know, people dying and going, oh, you know, things are okay, oh my god! Things like that. I think the upstairs has the least amount of exploring, though. Hopefully there's no, like, third seeker robot. We'll find out. I'm kind of curious. Like, this house is goddamn huge. There's a lot of rooms. It's a maze. For the most part. I know I got a bunch of tapes, but I don't know if there's any more. No, yeah, I think maybe I checked everywhere. I'll try leaving. Just get the GG. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Sequel? Question mark. We'll see. The robot's speaking. She's asking for help. So, oh. no, I, I, I guess that's it. It was difficult, but as, as long as you hide in the closets when you need your taser to be recharged, like it, it has a, a good balance at the very least. Usually when it comes to like FNAF-ish games, it's not really FNAF related, but you know, it's animatronic-ish, so I'm just going to say FNAF-like, even if it's half not true. There's the balance of you have a time limit or you'll get fired or something or you or you just you know you get fired or you die you have to reprogram them both and you have to wait for the taser to recharge and in that time you can hide in the closets while trying to avoid them so do your best to avoid where you think they are while also if you're really desperate hide in the closets because they don't think they patrol the closets at all but they do patrol the rooms so it's 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 simple it's not overly complicated unlike say that one animatronic game from long ago? 
it had oh, did, what was it called? I'm pretty sure the game title had something animatronic, and I'll, I'll double check. I know it was a popular one even for my channel a long time ago. Uh, ah, case animatronics. That's it. I remember I, I uploaded those damn fucking 2016. And I remember those doing actually decently well for my channel back then, with the amazing 500 views. Which back then was amazing. Now it's... <laughs> now it just means it's a bad horror game no one cares about, if I get those kind of views. Yeah, otherwise, eh, just, uh... Case animatronics, I remember being, uh, quite good. But, yeah. What was I thinking? Why, why was I even talking about this? I have no idea now. I can't remember. Anyways, let's just leave it there. I hope you enjoyed number 54, or maybe, I don't know. I'd, I'd reckon, honestly, that the game should be expanded. Oh yeah, let's bring up Case Animatronics because it has numerous animatronics with numerous, numerous uh, things you have to be careful of with this. It's just both of them are basically the same. They get taken down the same. And there's two of them in a gigantic house. So what I was thinking was, if the developer, instead of making a sequel, they expand upon this one first make it more like more concrete more detailed instead of a, this gigantic empty house with two usb sticks make it so there's various dangers maybe four animatronics and less of a maze of a house where it's just like a giant square house as a rough shape and then they just add a bunch of square rooms in between and you know hallways it's basically this house is just a giant square it'd be like a house a nine-year-old would make in the sims basically if it was more of a realistic house, maybe a realistic mansion, a realistic large house, rather than a square... Rather than something you'd see some kid make in The Sims, then it could be more entertaining. And, you know, more lore, more things to build the universe around it. Because if you want it to be attractive for a broader audience, the thing I would recommend is building deep lore besides saying, Hey, this robot speaks. There's something more to this ro female robot. Because that's all it's going for this game. You want a larger scope of mystery. Something that makes like makes it so you're just scratching the, the surface, so to speak. But all this game has is basically it's a giant house. It's more based on being hard and trial and error until you get, get it right. And then it being really short with a few tapes mixed in of things that don't really do much except just... A guy's perspective of, oh hey, this robot exists, oh hey, it spoke, and this robot is weird. It's possibly from a video game they reference. Not sure if he's referring to saying the female is from a video game in this universe, or it's a reference to this character, fourth wall breaking, saying that he's seen something similar in FNAF itself. No idea, but expanding the lore, making more mystery, and making better levels, I would say would be my suggestion. And more danger, more varied animatronics, arguably, rather than just two. But that's just my suggestion and feedback. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff scarber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Um.